Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super fun haul. If you guys saw my Instagram stories probably about a week or a week and a half ago, I had made a list of vendors that I wanted to try this year and a couple of you messaged me and said, hey, you forgot Woofwix. And I was like, oh, like I was trying to remember in my head like who I wanted to write down. And I, I, know, I knew I forgot some like after I had posted that story. <laughs> And Woofwix was one that was on my brain, but you guys know my brain is not always super efficient. So uh, thank you guys who messaged me and reminded me that I did want to check them out. And I happened to check them out at the perfect time because like the day I joined their Facebook group, like the next day they were having a restock like in a couple days. So, um, so this is a Woofwix haul and I'm super excited after I joined the Facebook group. I could just tell that it was like a super fun company, sweet graphics and an aesthetic that is just super cute and I just really like it. So this is their card and I will put their link to their shop down below, but you can see it there if you want. And I received a super nice note inside, that's what it says, Amber and Steven are the owners and they had shipped out my order within probably, I think like two or three hours after the restock. It was crazy. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like they were super fast. So that was really nice. Now I don't expect that every time, but it was just a nice little surprise. It was like, wow, they really, you know, are on top of things. So I got this nice box in the mail. I will show it to you at the end, what it looks like, but it was super fun, super cute. It just kind of sticks with their whole theme here. So before the restock even started, I kind of looked on their site to see what they had and they had lavender soda and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try this and see if it's like the one that I got from a different company that I absolutely loved and this is a spot on dupe. So if you guys remember back in like probably two years ago, lavender soda was a big hit on a certain vendor's website and ever since, like it kind of went around in the groups like lavender soda, you have to get it from this certain vendor. Well, this smells exactly like it. So I was super happy about that, I was like, I was, yeah, I was just like, yes, <laughs> this smells like exactly like it. It even feels like the same kind of wax as the the other one as well. It's crazy. So this is what the bottom looks like there. I'm not getting, um, so the lavender soda is perfect. I just want to throw that out there. I'm not getting, but just a little bit of a, uh, what's the wording like not plastic but you know how sometimes when you have these really stiff clamshells sometimes they can give off a little bit of a scent i've never had a problem with clamshells from any other vendor that that has had like the super stiff clamshells like those don't bother me at all the wax has always been fine so i just wanted to throw that out there smoky paws and oh dang it i forgot to let's see i pull up my list here i think smoky paws is Caramel, Tobacco, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I had my list all set up, but I had to re-record this because the first time it, <laughs> it failed miserably. Okay, so no, Smoky Paws is, oh yeah, Tobacco, Caramel, and Vanilla Bean Noel, I think. So there is that. And here's what it looks like inside with the cute little paw. Mm, that's good. I feel like that would be a good manly scent. I meant to grab the Smoky Paws Barkery, which is red velvet cake, t tobacco, caramel, sugar figgies, and pie crust, but for some reason I just, I was probably in kind of a hurry and missed it, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, the next thing I grabbed is Cereal Clouds, and this is, I think, Fruity Pebbles and Laundry. This I saw on the website and she had posted pictures of the clouds and I was like, oh my gosh, that's cute. Fruity Pebbles Laundry is what this one is. And I love like the rainbow color and just the white wax. The label is Darling. And this smells gorgeous. I mean, just perfect balance of Fruity Pebbles and laundry. You can smell the laundry, you can smell the Fruity Pebbles. It almost reminds me of like a citrus linen or citrus laundry type scent, you know, because Fruity Pebbles is fruity. Oh, so good. Love that one. Everything I smelled, I've already smelled all this stuff. 
and everything smells amazing and I'm super excited. It's strong. I, I'm pretty sure like this was just war um, warmed. <laughs> pretty sure like this was poured just recently. So coconut creamery is coconut cream pie, waffle cone, and sugar cookie. And this one, super creamy, super good. Like I can smell the waffle cone and it is Oh, it's just so creamy and the coconut is just like a creamy coconut. It's bakery, it's sweet. Now, the only thing I'm afraid of is when I warm this, it's gonna be so sweet. It smells great on cold and I love it, but I'm afraid this one might be like way too sweet. So I might have to mix it with something just to kind of, you know, but like sometimes these kind of scents are good as blenders and that's fine. That one smells really good though. I like that one. The next one I have is Fluff it, and this is blue cotton candy, cotton candy frosting, and fresh laundry. Blue cotton candy, I don't see used. Well, it's probably used a lot. I probably just don't see it myself. But from the vendors I buy from, I don't see blue cotton candy very often. This one is a really pretty scent. So just that dog. Oh, so cute. I just love, like, the labeling. Oh, and this, like, you definitely smell that blue cotton candy. I haven't had blue cotton candy in a while. It's almost so sweet that it's overtaking that laundry scent, but you know how things are once you warm them up, they might change. That's why I kind of hate that this is just a pure cold review and I haven't warmed anything yet. But from what I've seen and heard, her, her wax does well. So hopefully you can see some of this in my warm reviews coming up. So pretzel knots, I always grab a pretzel scent if I can. This is cinnamon sugar, pretzel, and pie crust. I love pretzel scents and from what I can tell like everyone has the same pretzel oil like I haven't smelled any pretzel that smells any different than this oh, and this one is so good I can smell the pie crust I can smell that pretzel now the other pretzel blends that I have had from other vendors it's always like the pretzels the outstanding note this one though I can smell the cinnamon sugar and pie crust but I do smell that pretzel but it's just nice because it's a good blend, you know, of all three, not just pretzel. Like that, some of the other blends I've had have just been like a straight pretzel. Of course, my phone's gonna go nuts when, as soon as I start recording. This is called Leftovers, super cute name, by the way. Oranges, limes, coconuts, smoky sweet bonfire breezes, and toasted marshmallows. And this one is a, like a fruity coconut. Yes, this is definitely fruity and coconutty. I might smell something a little bit earthy with the marshmallows and the bonfire breeze. I'm thinking it's like a marshmallow fireside maybe. I don't, I'm not sure, but that one's definitely more on the fruity coconut side. And I love that though, so that works for me. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of fruity, but I can handle it like mixed. This is Home Slice, Fresh Baked Bread, Sugar Milk, and Pie Crust. Oh, and that is good. If you like bready type notes, mm, and then you get the sugar milk. It's so weird, when I first, like, it goes on and off for me. I've smelled this a couple of times, and the first time I could smell the bread and the pie crust, and then I smelled it again, and I could smell the sugar milk. So it just depends on what sniff you're taking. <laughs> Mm, but it is good. If that sugar milk isn't too dominant, I have to be careful with like sugar milk blends, but um, if I need to, I could always throw in like a little bit more pie crust. I'm sure I have a, a pie crust blend around here somewhere that I could kind of tone down that sugar milk a little bit. Little bit. Okay, so the next one I have, so she does these things with the scent shots. Um, she puts two in a bag or it's him and her that run the company, so I should say he and she, but they or they. <laughs> Footy Pajamas is my next one, and look at how cute that label is. So Footy Pajamas is fruity, slushy, and fresh towels. And I love that they are not afraid to blend laundry with food scents. Oh, I love the smell of that. It's fruity and then you kind of get a little bit of fresh. It's more fruity than fresh, I feel like. But I feel like it blends well together. Ah, oh, that one's good. I like that they include two instead of just doing one scent shot. 
because I feel like you can use this in a bigger space if you want to. Okay, the next one, this is probably like, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about this one. This one is just really good. This is Lullaby Lavender Chamomile Lemon and Marshmallow. This lemon marshmallow in here is one I used to order from a different vendor and it is so, so good. This scent is strong, but it's soft. It's like, uh, when I say that, I mean, I feel like this is gonna throw very strongly, but I feel like it's gonna be a soft, soothing scent. You smell the lavender chamomile, but you get that lemon marshmallow. It's smooth, it's kind of creamy, it's, it's just, it's gonna be good. So, they put this one in like a little bag, a little two-pack in a bag, which is super cute. And then the rest of them they had in this, this big bag, everything was really well packaged, so I just had to cut into that. They must have like one of those like blow dryer deals where you blow dry the plastic shut. So that works out. Somehow I grabbed four buddies. <laughs> I didn't mean to, so here are the four. So I must have grabbed two, two packs. So we'll just set those back there. But this is Buddy. And it's funny because we call our dog Buddy, so that's super cute. So Buddy is Lavender and Smoky Paws. So this must be like a lavender caramel tobacco. Oh, and that's nice. It's uh, it's kind of be like, I don't know if it's a sweet or herbal lavender because I feel like the sweetness is coming from the caramel tobacco scent. It smells kind of like a sweet lavender, but then it smells kind of herbal, so I'm not really sure. But like I said before, I don't know if I've said this already, but I do like to grab a mix when I'm ordering from a new vendor because I never know, like you never know what you're gonna like. You know, you might find a new scent that you never thought you would like that you love. This one, for instance, uh, Carrot Tails, and this is cream cheese, carrot cake, and tobacco caramel. So I have been trying to find a good, um, oh gosh, carrot cake. <laughs> and look at the label too as well with the little bunnies on it. I just feel like the labels are just so cute. I still... This one is pretty good. I just, I don't know that I can find a carrot cake that I'm gonna be like, like I don't know what I'm looking for in a carrot cake to be honest. I just know the few that I've had, I haven't really enjoyed that much. So I honestly don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one, but um, that's what we got, carrot tails. So, okay, and then the next two I have are bananas in pajamas and this is another example of mixing a food with a laundry scent and I am all about it. This is banana, walnut cake, and laundry. And again, look at the banana and the pajamas and just the little dog looks, looks so happy. I've been having a week so getting a nice fun package in the mail has like made my week better. And this works. Like I don't know how it works but it works. Oh, you get the laundry and then you smell that banana walnut. And it smells good together. Like, I don't know how or why, but it smells good together. So, I've got that. Okay, and then I got two samples. And I am in love with these samples. Like, I'm so glad they sent these along because these two I might have to look for again. I need to look up scent notes. Timberwolf and Mr. Wolf. Okay, so Timberwolf not sure what it is but I think is this the one that I smell coconut in yeah this is the one that might be a little bit too much for me um my husband will like it I feel like I'm gonna have to look up scent notes I feel like it's a manly scent I swear I smelled coconut in there but now I'm not sure Okay, I don't know what's in that one, but that one does smell good. I can see a lot of people liking that one if you're looking for like a manly type scent. But this one, Mr. Wolf, this one, I'm pretty sure it smells. And I don't know if I'm right or not. I need to look up scent notes. Oh, this one smells like a scent I had from Scentsy a long time ago. And they took it away and then I was able to get it with a bring back my bar, but... Oh, if this is it, my husband is going to die. He loves, like, that scentsy scent. 
Um, but they took it away, and I can't think of what it's called right now. Ugh. Oh, that is definitely cologne, though. And it smells good. Shoot, you know what? I'm if I if I screwed this up and it ha it's like a dupe of like my husband's cologne, I'm gonna be in big trouble because I'm saying it's a scentsy dupe and um, it could you know what it could be. <laughs> Let me smell this again. Is this his cologne? No, I don't think so. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna have to look up the scent description on that one. But anyways, that one's really good. So yeah, this is just a super fun order. I had so much fun like opening it and getting it in the mail. And let me just show you the box really quick, just what comes inside. So it comes with a purple paper and then this paw tissue. And it was just fun. It was a fun restock at the group. The Facebook group seems really fun and non-dramatic, really sweet. The owners seem like they are passionate about what they do. And just the blends are just like a little different and, um, and kind of fun and unique and yeah. So I will definitely be looking for more restocks to see what else I can get my paws on. <laughs> see, I'm already getting into the, uh, I'm already getting into the, um, like if you go on their Facebook group, you'll notice a lot of people post like dog related like things. So, but uh, yeah, I like that she's mixing like the laundry with the food or he and she, I'm sorry, they. And uh, there's definitely a few in here that I would look for again and yeah, there was a few on the site too that I kind of had to pass up because I was trying to stay on track, uh, some sort of budget. So yeah, that is it you guys. If you guys have ordered from Woofwix, let me know and what you like from there and how it performs for you and all that fun stuff. And thank you if you messaged me on my Instagram and pointed out that I forgot Woofwix. A few of you guys actually sent me a, a message and named a few other companies off as well that I should check out. So thank you guys for doing that. I always appreciate that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video and I hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.